haven't had any attacks since Bali and I hope it never comes back. Say tanaw niyo mo Jess. Kabangga naman siya kung auto ganyan. I welcome them because the more I try to stop them, the more they bother me. So, I just accept that it's there and just be mindful of my reaction. Both! May kapoy na mag-sattle dahi. Kung alanganin, may nalang. It's fun, it's hard, and it's frustrating. I'm not a quitter, so I'm gonna continue. I think only an idiot would choose fame. Fame or money? Fame? Popular or gutom? Both. Di na just lagi tamo sa to. Yavail na din na tutanan. I think, you know, you don't need the perfect guy. You just need to find someone. We are compatible. I was a rhythmic gymnast. And ropes were part of our training. So, I have been jumping and skipping since I was a child. Yes, guy. Nagbakasyon siya. Unya, nasakpan na ako. So, pag uli niya sa mga balay that time, wala na ako mga gamit. Huwag ko mga way niya, huwag ko'y pangutan na. I just left. Huwag ako. Self-love is, for me, self-love is effort, it's discipline, and it's a lot of hard work. You know, you work hard for your happiness. Like, sometimes I wish I can just find true happiness just by chilling on the couch the whole day. But no. Go! Not gonna give up until I find my true love and get rich. Why do discriminate? Why do they discriminate? Why do they discriminate? Why do discriminate? Sa LGBTQ is mano ni ang i-discriminate. Kanong mga close-minded, I just don't deal with them. Selfish people, I am selfish sometimes, or most of the time, so I don't know. Then, ayaw saan po pa kayo? Huwag pa ka busy pa dahi, like talk. Work up, pagwapa, read, um, watch inspirational videos. Happiness is a byproduct of the meaningful things we do in life. Values to die if there's anything that we put on. Non negotiable, you know, values and roots. It's very important that people have a good I can't keep my tongue. So a model is Dreamer17. Never. You know, they're just like my, it's just like my Korean opa. Kimchi equals upa. Never get sick of it. Dai, biya, biya. Ibig sabihin, pag ikay kinagupahan, ikay kinagutupan, ikay kinagbrightan, ikay kinagsiksihan, yung sa pang kinagadira. Kung ang lalaki, babaero, babaero, dyan na. Ibig sabihin pa ito, si Gigi Hadid. Ibig sabihin, pagtuunin mo sa mga pagalingan na magtuo ka nga mag-usap, dyan na siya para niyo. Sa mga ka, para mag-usap good daw siya pa rin yun. Leave. Kung hindi ka gano mag-antos. Go out and get to know other people. 
Fokus makan Pansin na lang siya Pansin na sa gong ubang Hmm Magulab yan day Ba't nabuwagan ko Ba't Ting balik Ano ko Ano ko daw ata So Magulab yan Did you eat? What did you have for dinner? Ayawit na si Janisha. Ito na yung pack. Buhay na kang pangata na Justin. Hmm. Siya nga yung pack yung magtaman ako. Ayun yung pangata na yung pack yung natin. Kasi ba't na din ka? Man. Ibuha lang ito kong ex. Uli niya. Asa ko lang ko. Kamuha ko na ako pag abot niya sa balay. Because heartbreaks are just temporary. And If you work hard to be a strong and independent woman, it can be forever. Simple, kaya di sila kontento. Di na yun ang problema, that's your problem. You just have to deal with the pain and go through it with composure. Do yourself and everyone a favor and leave. You know, because you shouldn't be in it. If you really love yourself, you shouldn't be in it. And if you don't, then maybe you deserve it. Pagsakit lang day. You know, normal naman na. It's part of life. Pagsakit yun ka. We all go through it. Ang importante is, kung saan yung pagdala sa mga pagalimun, o magsakit ka. What doesn't kill you makes a strong. Okay, guys. Good night. Pwede mo na kami sa anay. Wow. I think it's public information or record. So if you're religious masa, you can check it. You want me to open the door? I know. I'm gonna send this video to you. It's chicken by a Philippine. Which is your city? Where you coming from? Where you from? Dumaguete? Chicken wrap from Dumaguete. For free! stop this attitude that can't, impossible, what if, nothing, what if, what if, what if, Use your imagination. The body is the slave of the mind. The more you imagine, the more the body is working for you. Amazing. Impossible. What if? What if I fail? What if this? What if that?
for. Continue, please. Continue. Continue. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Oh, you said 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. You're such a liar. I'm not going to do it. You're such a liar. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. This one and then finish. Just touch, just touch this one and then you finish. Touch this one, please. Touch this one. That's finished. Promise. I want you to stay like this and trust yourself without controlling something. Trust yourself. I told you there is, there is a power inside of you. I can't. I'm, okay. I'm so dizzy. I'm, I'm with you here. It's all good. I'm with you. Okay now? Should I put one more stone there? One more stone? I told you this. There's a power which is taking care of you. Please trust that power. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. How you doing? I'm doing this. to share with you my experience with the Kokoro program that I did in Bali. Okay, um, so where do I start? I start. Uh, this is so hard. There are actually so many things, so many exercises that happened. Um, I'm sure some of you saw the videos that I posted. But that wasn't even a fourth 
of what actually happened. Um, yeah, there were physical exercises, mental exercises, emotional exercises, if that's what you call it, and a lot of discussions and theories. You know, um, it was like a crash course on Zen philosophy. It was like going back to school, except, you know, I was studying myself, I was studying my emotions, I was studying my feelings, like everything was dissected, you know, studying my problems, my issues, my strengths and weaknesses facing it and uh, you know acknowledging it and uh, <coughs> controlling it basically hmm. so yeah there were physical and mental but actually uh, it all really ended up being mental everything was mental um, the physical part, the physical exercises, uh, were just, uh, you know, used, or was it a tool to get to my head, to my mind. I remember my first day, the first exercise was so hard. It was so hard because I... arrived in Bali in a very bad state mentally, physically and my, I didn't have a soul like I, I, was, I felt like I was dead inside me so I was not fit at all so that's why it, the first exercise was the hardest uh, I remember puking four times and I was crying Because it was so hard and it was a very stressful situation. My issues came out, my problems came out, my character came out, everything came out. So from that exercise, my mentor knew what my, what my <coughs> real problems were. And uh, I think that's when... what program to give me or something but you know uh, your program would depend on your progress and your everyday progress so it changes what else Yeah, so because the exercises you do is um, based on your, you know, issues or Because they train you to um, to be able to control these things, you know, your emotions, your feelings, and uh, other stuff. The exercises would always you would always be put in uh, situations that are stressful. You know, my anxiety. They would always bring up my anxiety. I remember um, I was blindfolded a lot um, there are a lot of needles involved um, yeah but anyway um, I'll talk about my mentor Kaos um, he is a Zen teacher he's trained He 
was with me the whole time for 14 days at 6 a.m. until after dinner. You know, uh, it was like having a best friend, uh, a therapist, a teacher, God, a trainer, and uh, an enemy. I would always fight with him. So yeah, he's with you all the time, watching your every move and uh, tormenting and torturing you in all possible ways. <laughs> um, um, so what was my daily routine? Uh, I would wake up at 4.30 or 5 and then um, at 6, we would meditate for 30 minutes. That was essential. Um, meditate and then we'd have exercises, physical and mental it depends. And then the afternoon, and then after the physical and mental exercises would be the discussions. You know, we would discuss about how, what happened and how, how I approached the exercise and how I handled it, I guess, and, um, and how I faced it and how I dealt with it. And yeah, it would be the discussions and lunch lunch, you rest for a while, and then in the afternoon, another exercise, physical or mental, and then discussions again. So, yeah, that was my daily schedule. So, what did I learn from this experience? Um, well, I learned anything that uh, for you to be a healthy, happy, and stable individual, your mind, body, and soul must be aligned or in harmony. You know, and how? How do you do that? Feed your mind, body, and soul with the right things. With the mind, you have to keep your promises. You have to set goals. And if you can't or fail, you punish yourself. So it's like a reward and punishment system. The same as the body. Of course, you eat right and you exercise. And if you fail to do so, you punish yourself and the soul is like your reward you know you do the things that you love doing that you enjoy doing you eat your junk food or whatever it is you want to eat it's like a reward so you know it's like a balance you just have to balance it balance everything it's like the yin and yang there's the good and the bad, and the bad and the good. It just needs to be balanced. Because we're human, I guess. And you know what? This is what I, I learned. This is just based on my experience. And uh, how did I get better? That is the question. Actually, it's... I was surprised because I thought I wasn't gonna get it. So what is this thing? It's like all physical stuff and all things like that. But then we applied the feeding the mind, body, soul in my daily routine. Like I had promises, I had goals. I worked out, I ate right, and I had rewards, and every day I was getting better, you know, and with the exercises that 
I did, I was slowly getting my confidence back. Like the Ellen that I lost was slowly coming back every day. This is just my experience guys, okay? Um, and I wanted to share it with you because, you know, I, I thought I wasn't gonna get better. But I did, and it helped me. And I know that, you know, life is a vicious cycle. It's normal to have ups and downs. But, I think now I am aware of myself. I know what I am capable of and uh, doing. And uh, yeah, so there. And I know a lot of you guys are curious about the exercises that I did and why I did that, you know, um, I might do a live thingy, insta live, or is that whatever you call it here on Instagram, so I can explain to you guys the exercises and answer some of your questions, because it's so, it's so hard to explain it in one video everything that I did because there was so much and uh, yeah so that's it